what's going on youtube we got another money play for y'all if you've been following my channel since day one then you know this is the same play not the exact same but this is very similar to the same play that uh was the very first video on my channel this is the play that brought me to youtube to start dropping money plays for y'all um like i said this one's going to be a little bit different the formation is the same and the two route concepts that we're going to be looking at are the same um, but we're actually going to set this play up a little bit different for this Madden compared to Madden 21. Very good money play is going to be able to beat all three zone coverages and man coverage at the same time. The play we're talking about is gun tight bucks post. This is a really good play. If you're a Madden head, I'm more than sure you have ran into this formation with this specific route because it destroys man coverage and different coverages as well. Um, so let's go ahead and jump to practice. I can't even talk right now. Let's go ahead and jump into the practice field and I'll show you how we set this play up and we'll get things going. For the most part, it doesn't really matter what hash you're on. Does it help if you're on the far side? So I, what I mean by that, I'm on the right hash. I want my running back on the right side of the field. If I was on the left hash, I'd want my running back on the left side of the field. The route that really like destroys everything is Y, but not as good as it did in Mana 21. But we're gonna uh, show you what we can do that can fix that and there's gonna be another route that actually is gonna help you beat every coverage. So one thing you're gonna do, this is gonna be against cover two first and then we'll go through the coverages. Uh, one thing you're gonna do right now is go ahead and motion your tight end A over to the left side. If you are if you have the play flip, you're gonna motion, motion them to the right side. From there, I would smart route them. It, it makes the play work that much better. Uh, and then put X on a flat route. Now X and A are gonna create such a big distance for whatever purple zone or blue zone they have over there, it's gonna be very hard for them to choose. If they have them playing deep, they'll guard A, X will be wide open. If they have them playing uh, mid to short, A will be open, you just gotta kinda lead it up the top. Now what Y is gonna do, cause sometimes Y will get open too, but what Y is gonna do is completely take out whoever that deep zone is. So a lot of times A is gonna get open, which you're gonna see right here. Um, and don't get me wrong, sometimes Y gets open too, but right there you can lead it up on for A, and you that that purple zone or blue zone whatever side is going to be whatever whatever side uh I, man i am messing up when i'm talking right now on the left side whichever guy is playing that side that's going to be too deep for him to play and the only way they're going to be able to guard it is if they're playing like 25 to 30 and if they do then x is going to be wide open he's going to easily get some yards so like i said motion over a go ahead and smart route them put x on a flat um you can't smart route y I'm telling you, sometimes Y will get open even against cover two. Um, you can put B on a streak, it'll kind of help it out. Um, but you just kind of have to, it's one of those things you're, you're going to have to watch that safety. Um, you will, to be able to beat cover two though, you will need a burner. See, like right there, it, you might as well just go to A. The only reason I was able to catch that is because I had Marquise Brown with 97 speed. Um, it's just safer to go to A or X. So that's what you would normally do. Just like I said, put X on the flat, smart route A. Uh, it does make a huge difference if you smart route A. Uh, and if, if you run the play without smart route it, you'll see uh, it's easier for that guy to cover X and A almost at the exact same time. Uh, it just makes a huge difference. And you just, once he passes that linebacker, lead the ball up, uh, Marquise Brown is doing a good job of taking the safety out the picture. That's a, it just a really good play to beat cover two. Let's go ahead and jump into cover three. Just like last year though, Mad 21, this play really couldn't beat cover three. Um, I would normally burn cover four man coverage with this play um, specifically, but I didn't have the route with A, the, the route, that little post route that he's on. I didn't have that with uh, last year's Madden. So that's what's making it a huge difference. Uh, same thing, we're gonna motion him over. This is against cover three. So we're going from a flat to a purple zone. So the purple zone should play a little bit higher, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference. You're still gonna get open with A. And same thing, um, Y is doing a really good job of taking the cornerback out the picture. So you're just wide open with A. Uh, if you have to, you don't have to lead the ball up. Just lead it to the sideline, get a possession catch. Um, but if you have the room, go ahead and do a, a rack catch and get you some extra yards. For the most part, it looks like I'm able to lead the ball up and get a few more yards. What's happening is the guy that's playing the purple zone. Let's go ahead and jump into the replay so you can see what I'm talking about. The guy that's playing the purple zone because I think it's this guy right here. Because the only person uh, for the first 10 yards is going out to the flats is X. 
he automatically goes to him. Even if he's supposed to be playing like at 15 yards or 20 yards, he's not reading that uh, Mark Andrews is coming his way yet. And that's another reason uh, you want a smart route. So Mark Andrews goes higher. So he's thinking the only person in his area is the X uh, receiver. And then he notices Mark Andrews is up there. So he's backing up a little bit more. And even right there, you can throw to X, but you won't get as many yards. But obviously, you can see Mark Andrews is wide open. Lead the ball up or lead it to the sideline. Like I said, Mark Marquise Brown is doing a hell of a job, the wide receiver, of taking out the deep zone. And then Mark Andrews is just wide open. <clears throat> we'll run it one more time against cover three so you can see that it is consistent. Like I said, go ahead and motion him over. Smart route him. You can smart route Y as well. Um, he doesn't go up that much more, but you can see like the routes are kind of equal when they break. Um, but it, it doesn't make that much of a difference. You're still going to get the same results. Um, but if the play just feels better for you when you smart route Y as well, then go ahead and smart route both of them. Uh, it's not going to hurt. If anything, it'll make it a little bit better. Let's go ahead and jump into cover four. All right. Now, against cover four, there's times more than often you can burn cover four with Y. Now, what you're going to have to do is pay attention to the cornerback. Uh, sometimes he'll play it better than he does. Uh, there's be, there'll be times where he messes up and that's when you can bomb it. You'll see the difference. I'll try to, I'll try to get it to where you can bomb it sometimes. And then, uh, there's going to be times you're going to just have to go to a, but I found it best. If you do smart route, both a and Y, you have a better chance of bombing cover four. mind you, you do need somebody with like 95 speed to do this. It just helps. We're going to run the play a few a few times and see if we can get the animations we're looking for to bomb cover four. It does happen often. Like it's not something that does like right here. I can bomb cover four. But this is where I'm saying you need speed because if you don't have the speed, the cornerback has a good chance of catching up. Mind you, the Browns have really fast cornerbacks, so they're they're able to keep up a little bit. But um, even if that's not there, same thing, A is going to be open because of the same concept with X and A. He's not reading A to, uh, to be in his uh, zone. I threw that way too high. But he's not reading A to be in his zone, the purple zone over there. Um, mind you, most people that play cover four that I've played so far, uh, they play their purple zones pretty deep. So if that's the case, X is going to be wide open. Um, but if, in the case of them playing a the default, you can see right there, a gets open, easy possession catch, easy 15 to 20 yards. Um, but what I'm going to look for off rip when I'm going against cover four is is uh, is wide getting open. I'm going to pay attention to that cornerback and see what he does. Right there, I know he's going to get open based off what he did and how he animated. You Like I said, you're going to need the speed unless you're going against a team that doesn't have fast cornerbacks. Uh, but that's the first thing I'm going to look for. And if, if I see that he doesn't get open... Oh, I messed that up right there. If I see that he's not gonna get open, then I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go to A. I'm gonna check A. If A is open, I'm gonna throw it to A. If not, I'm gonna check X. Um, and another thing, I'm not y'all. If you haven't noticed, I haven't been doing anything with my running back or my B receiver. Trust me, you can do different things. I would leave B on the route he's on because that is just a straight man killer. Um, what you can do though is you can put RB on a five and out. You could put him on a, a wheel route. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Honestly, you could put him on a five and in. You could put him on a hitch. Um, I, I didn't even like mention those, but you can do whatever you want to do with those routes or with those guys. Um, one more time though, let's go ahead and run it. For the most part, I, I'm getting the animations that I want to get wide open. Um, the, the big thing uh, right there, see, that's what I'm saying by speed. The big thing is the speed and you just, you got to know when to throw it and when not to throw it. Um, but for sure, there's still a money play because A is getting open every single time. And if A doesn't get open, I promise you X will get open. You just got to be patient. Once he passes that linebacker, you can lead that ball up, get some more yards. You can see right there, I'm getting an extra 10, 15 yards. Um, very solid play. Uh, and that's not even with me worrying about RB or B, like seeing if they're getting open. I'm just literally watching the left side of the field. Um, and uh, eventually you'll play against somebody that will put a, a blue zone and a purple zone to watch the flat. And that, that you'll, that's going against a pretty advanced player. And then, you know, they'll probably use her in the middle of the field or something. When they start doing things like that, that's when you want to look for RB or B. Um, and it'll it, those guys will probably get open because they're just favoring the left side of the field. Let's go to jump into man coverage. All right, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and motion over my tight end. I'm going to smart route him. I'm going to smart route Y. I'm going to put X on a flat. Now, 
the most common man coverage you're going to run against is a man covered with two safeties over the top, cover two man. Um, there is time. If it's just straight up man with no safety over the top or they're playing cover one, Y is a, a man beater. It's just going to destroy man coverage. But at the same time, so is A. Just watch what happens. They're both going to get open. Um, why not so much? I didn't throw the ball because I, I just wanted to see how, what the routes were going to do. Why not so much? Because there's a safety over the top. But if you would have seen A, A got wide open. Um, let's go to smart out him again. Like I said, if it's some type of man blitz where there's no safety over the top, Y is going to be your guy all day. Like if somebody ran a, ne a nickel mid blitz or if they're playing cover one. Cover one is a safety in the middle of the field, not breaking out to the left or the right. But watch A. A gets wide open, especially if they got a linebacker on them, um, which for the most part, it will there will be a linebacker, even if they're in um, a dime, a one, one four six or something like that. It's going to be a linebacker on them or, or a safety if they if they um, sub in their safeties. You don't necessarily need to uh, smart route against man coverage, but it, it just makes it that much better. Highly recommend it. Um, even with safeties over the top, you still have an opportunity to burn this. I, I just couldn't get the ball off in time. But just be safe and go to uh, A, and he gets open damn near every time. And then another route that I told you about the last play, B, is also just a complete man beater. Just watch what happens. I'm going to go ahead and block. Let's go ahead and put the running back on a wheel route. Uh, and then watch what happens with A. He just gets wide open. So there's another guy you could throw to right there against man coverage, even if they have safeties over the top. There's nothing they can do about that. Um, let's go ahead and jump into a man coverage where they're blitzing and there's nobody over the top. And you can see what I'm talking about with Y. All right, this is the most common straight up man coverage sending six at you. Um, this play can easily beat man coverage with all three routes, Y, A, and B. You don't even need a motion over A. Um, what I'm going to look for is why, because this is a touchdown play if you can get it off. Uh, but if you need a quick check down, B is going to get open. Like, let, let's hit B first. Right here, he's going to get open. Doesn't take that long. Obviously, he just didn't catch it. Uh, you got to be careful with that animation, too, that the rack catch animation. They try to catch the ball and just like instantly go upfield, and it, it kind of just messes everything up for you. But let's, let's just hit it one more time. Um, you can see, I mean, with the nickel bit blitz, they're going to get in quick. Um, it's an easy five to seven yards if you have somebody with better route running than Miles Boykin, which is a slow receiver. Uh, you could easily turn that into a lot more yards. So that's normally who you would check down first if you got the pressure coming at you. The next person you'll check down would be the tight end right there. Terrible throw, terrible throw. But what you can see that he was wide open. Um, they're going to have that extra guy in the, in the back because I'm blocking the running back. So he's going to be kind of hovering around. So just pay attention to that. But you can see right there, the tight end. Uh, why is he throwing that bad? That's terrible. I'm, I'm not going to lead the ball this time. He is. I don't know if that does. Uh, Miles Garrett got under pressure. But right there, just throw the ball. Um, obviously, you can possibly turn that into a touchdown. Um, and then the, the touchdown, you... you this honestly works better with a better route runner than somebody fast. It'll create the separation when he hits that cut, which I'm talking about is Malcolm Brown or Marquise Brown. Why? Um, but having somebody fast, you'll just kind of beat him over the top. But see, that's the problem. Um, they can easily get to the quarterback because they're sending six. And I, I don't know if I blocked the running back right there, but that's going to be the issue. What you can do is you can motion over Mark, uh, your tight end, and then you can put them on a delay fade. So now you'll have seven blockers and um you have more time to get this playoff uh but for the most part it normally does beat man coverage there you go one it the way you're going to beat it over the top is if they have a safety guard in them um but when they have the cornerback lined up like right in front of them because that's the issue that's why i'm not beating them to the left when they put the cornerback right in front of you that's when um you'll you'll be able to beat them out to the left and um you'll be able to like lead the ball up into the left and it'll be a touchdown down there, damn near every time. But since they have a safety guard to me, once he makes that cut, the, the safety is going to follow. And I'm just kind of leading that ball over the top. I didn't block my running back, damn it. Yeah, I'm going to lead the ball over the top, and he's just going to beat him over the top. He's creating all that separation because the big speed difference. Um, But if you want to be safe, you know, just hit your easy routes with B and A against man coverage. B is just going to be your safest route just right there. Even when Miles Boykin, you could, and that's a good against uh, that's a, against a good cornerback right there, and you, I easily broke off of him. 
and got a really good yardage right there. So that's going to be it for this play. Uh, like I said, this was one of my first ever money, actually my first video ever of the, the money play that I had was about why. Why was able to beat a lot more coverages single-handedly by itself, like without motion over A or anything like that. Um, and it's a really good play. Still a good play this year, but you're really going to focus on your tight end motion them over and, you know, having that three levels with X, Y, and whatever. I think you're tight. Well, your tight ends A, yeah. X, Y, and A having a, the flats, the mid to long range, and then your deep out there with Y. And it, they all work together. And then you still have good routes with B and then your running back. I, I didn't even use my running back, so you can do different things with that. Um, Just want to say I appreciate all the love, man. Everybody's been throwing comments at me, giving me, you know, feedback about the plays. Like the guy that told me you can smart route the route. Uh, that actually really does work a lot better for the last. The, the glitchy tight end play that I was talking about. If you smart route the X route, I think, or whoever the receiver is on that side, it actually does make the play that much better. So, hey, I appreciate the feedback like that. And then I got people telling me, you know, there's different plays. There's another plays that are similar to this play. Um, that's what I'm looking for, man. We that's we're building a little community we got going. Everybody's talking. I like that. Um, and I just want to tell everybody I appreciate it. All the likes, you know, the views, everything. Uh, with all that being said, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it.